the BTI portal how-to videos. Today we're going to go over how to manage your My Equipment list on the portal. As always, we start out at the BTI homepage at btiequip.com. Head over to the BTI portal, log in to our account, and we're ready to go. We're going to head down to the My Equipment list. What it's going to show you is what we have in the system as your farm or business or personally um, you owning. So if you see something that's in this list that you may not have, the first thing you want to do is request a delete. So this item, I no longer have this. I'm going to request it be deleted and there it will move to my open request and it'll be sent to a BTI portal administrator. Here in this list, you can kind of see what items you own. You can see a gator here, a, um, a few steel items like a trimmer and a chainsaw, as well as a Z-Track 335E mower. So if I want to see more details about one of these items, I can go ahead and click request and edit. And I can add all sorts of information to this and really use this My Equipment list however much or how little I want. So we want the basics in there, obviously, like a John Deere Z335E mower. But if you want to um, insert the serial number, maybe even the engine serial number, if it is a large ag item like a tractor or a combine, the JD Link machine ID would be very helpful here. Meter reading hours, meter reading dates, meter units, um, the last service date, maybe a fleet number, a reference number, etc. So you in com even more comments. So you can really customize this for helping you manage your business, how little or however much that you may want to. So we're going to head back to my equipment list, and we're going to look at that same mower, and we are going to um, look at suggested services. This little wrench icon. So if I'm saying, you know, maybe it's back in February, and I'm thinking. I'm going to have to start mowing my lawn sometime soon, so I would like to take it in for a service inspection and get it ready to go. It'll pre-populate all of the information about the machine for me, and I can submit that, and I will send that submission. It will go straight to the service department of my specific BTI location that I have chosen, and the service manager at that location will get right back to me to help me schedule an appointment and get that mower into the shop. If we want to look at maybe I'm doing some maintenance on this mower myself and I want to go straight to finding machine specific parts for that piece of equipment, it'll go and take me to the John Deere parts catalog. This will allow me to see parts schematics and more specifically for that machine, but also sometimes as we know, depending on the machine, parts are different based on serial number. So if I have that serial number in there, it's going to give me serial number specific parts, numbers, and parts schematics. So as you can see here, it brought me to John Deere parts. I can click to look uh, at more of the information about this machine. If I want to look at parts schematics specific to maybe electrical, fuel and air, etc., I can really see what I want on there and, and get the parts that I, that I would need. If I add things to my cart here, it will automatically pre-populate it to my cart back in the portal for me as well. Lastly, this clipboard is an icon beside the machine and it'll give you the service history. So this particular mower hasn't been in in the past, but if it had been, it would show you me it would show me the date that it was in for service as well as the, the a PDF icon to download that invoice from when it was last serviced. If I have a machine that isn't in this list, I can request an addition here. And again, you saw all of these options earlier. I can add as, as much or as little as about that machine as I would want. And that's where you can uh, add a machine to your list. If I have a farm and have several tractors and combines and etc., I can go ahead and log into my JD Link and link my JD Link subscriptions to the specific machines and, and, and screens and monitors in these, in these machines. Obviously, a mower won't, won't have a 
have a monitor, but if that is something that your operation deals with, this is a good tool to use as well. That's the My Equipment tab. The My Equipment tab really is a business tool for you. It's to help you manage your equipment, find parts by serial number specifics, and really more, as much or as little as you wanna make it, it's there for you. As always, if you have questions about the BTI portal, don't be afraid to ask your BTI parts representative. They'll be able to answer those questions or always check out our YouTube channel for more of the how-to videos for the BTI portal. Thanks for joining us and have a great day.